Yes, guys, how are we all? I'm back after a, a few hours break. Yeah, I'm making a video today because I'm going to be busy in the next few days, so I'm not going to be able to make much. Um, right, what's next for Leeds United? Obviously, here we're going to talk about the league position. We're going to talk about the next coach, the direction we're going in. The bat. I've seen Alfred Schroeder has been linked with Leeds heavily. So what I did was I looked, I did my own research. I'm seeing stuff online from my ex-fans, that the things asking him to get out, everything. Everyone's saying he's a terrible coach and all that. Right. This is where I like to then do my own research. And I've done it. And if that gets made official, that video will be out. And it may be controversial. It may be controversial. <laughs> I'm not going to give too much away, but I've done some research. I've done some a bit for the last two hours. I've done my research. That's coming out soon. Anyway, but for me, when I look at the manager situation now, I said earlier, the board has to get it right. The squad you are inheriting, inheriting here is a good one, right? It is a good squad. It's a very good squad. It's a squad that is better than where they are in the league, without doubt. And like I keep saying, it's just... We could easily do with someone who can just tweak it a little bit. We could easily do with someone just tweak it a, bit, a little bit. And I speak to my dad earlier, and I'm looking, right? I'll tell you who I want, who I've not heard, because does he want to come back into coaching? I don't know. I want Luis Enrique. And you're probably looking at the surface here and thinking, what are you on about? Why would he come to Leeds? Right, I hear that. But Unai Emery has gone to Villa. They were struggling. Similar type of club in terms of where they are, progression. Maybe maybe a year ahead. In terms of squad, in terms of ambition, in terms of money, which we will have in the summer, we're not a worse prospect. And they managed to get him away from Villarreal, where he was doing well. He's been doing well. He's won Europa Leagues, guys. He's won, it. He's won a lot of things. Wolves managed to get Lop Lopetegui. Look where he's been. Similar to Luis Enrique. Very similar to Luis Enrique in terms of calibre of where he's been. He's gone to Wolves who are bottom of the league. You're telling me that we couldn't get Luis Enrique? I've not heard anything about it. Has he even, has he just straight up silently just said, no, I'm not interested till summer? I don't know. I've seen nothing about it. I would take him now. He would be my choice. Or Almarim from Sporting Lisbon. They're my two. I think they're the coaches we need like that. Obviously, you've got the slot and and um, Areola, but they've said no. I've not heard anything from these guys. Have we asked them? Have they just silently kind of said it's not going to happen? I don't know. But for me, we need someone like that. I think we could get someone like that. I genuinely do. Because other teams around us have done that. You know, look at the squad you're inheriting. Look at the, the project we have here. 49 is coming in the summer with all that money. There'll be more funding. The squad is good. The club is good. Have we tried? I don't know. Do we have that contact? I don't know. Something to think of. But I've done a video on... I'm going to do a video on Schroeder if that gets announced. Which I think might be controversial. <laughs> Hear me out. But yeah. I just want to make this video up because I just... Where do we go from here? Of course, we have to get the coaching right. The co the next coach has to be vital. The next coach is vital, whoever it is, which I said earlier. I want to talk about today. Because in hindsight, looking back at it again, I can't be frustrated with the performance overall. I really can't. The players give everything. I made a war cry the other day, a video of what I want to see. And I saw that from... I saw them playing for Leeds. Them two tackles McKenney and Adams made in the first five minutes. That's what we want. Them two were brilliant. They were really good. And that's what I mean. You're inheriting a good squad here. A squad that can do things. Get the right man in. It's a big deal for the club. It's a big deal. The next, it's, it's a big deal. And I'm seeing this slander of Rutter and... and, and uh, I, he's not played in three months. 
He's played in three games. This is his first home game for Leeds United, and look who he's playing against. Come on. Give the man a break. I know we're all angry and want to blame someone. Don't blame him. Blame the individual errors. Watch the goal back and see who's at fault. Blame Rashford for being good. I don't know. It's not his fault. Another thing I want to touch on as well was Junior. I didn't mention him in my previous video. I thought Junior Firpo was really good today. The goal wasn't his fault. It wasn't his man. It wasn't marking from him. I thought he was really good. He didn't really get beat. We didn't see that the shape a bit more secure. And he didn't see him really 1v1. And in the small instance where he did, he did well. Going forward, he is a threat. And we need more from him in that. Forget coaching that plays with wing-backs, proper wing-backs, we can see him. And that's what I mean. I'm looking through the promises and I'm going, there's not a bad one. Look, don't get me wrong, we lost shape a little bit when we took Bamford and Harrison off, but you can't blame the players for not being in that shape because Rutter came on who's new. You still acclimatise him to the new country, let alone the tactics the coach wants. Right? I thought Aronson did Aronson things, but again, Jack coming off, we lost that command that he had. And I was talking about leaders in my previous video, and Jack showed that today. I was watching him on that front line because, you know, their defenders had it a lot, and I was just watching Jack, and he was constantly doing this, doing this, doing this, endlessly. And no one was doing that when he went off. But maybe he was tired, I don't know. I imagine he was. But man for man, I can't complain about us. I thought we were good. And this is what I mean by the frustration now. The board has to get this right. I'm not going to come on here, right, and dig at Schroeder. One, because he's not our coach yet. And two, this is going off the opinion of one fan base. There is two fan bases you could ask where he's coached. I think we'll have a brighter idea of him. All I'm saying. I'm not saying any... Watch my video. All right, watch my video. But people say things about people, and then they bandwagon it, and then they don't create their own opinion. They're just looking at Ajax fans. Look, Ajax is one of those clubs, amazing club. Don't get me wrong, amazing club. I've been to the stadium once, and it's phenomenal. But they are, they are the type of club who has to win every season. Okay, that is our expectation, the fans' expectation. Similar to. Madrid or Barcelona, PSG, and I prefer Ajax as a fan base. Like, let me just clarify that Ajax are outstanding. I love the club. I don't love the club. That's a lie. I love the culture of it. Right. I love the idea of it. I love what they do with young players. I love how they compete against the big boys. I think it's brilliant. But they're so used to success that when when it isn't happening, like we're seeing when 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 Barcelona lost a game and the players get booed and. You've seen it at Chelsea, they lose a few games and the players are getting booed. They're asking for the bar to be out. And it's the same with Ajax, you know, when they're struggling, not getting the results. The fans have had enough. They, they can't, they don't, they want more instantly because that's the calibre, that's the level they're at. So you can't fully base an opinion for me on a club that is at its pinnacle. You just can't. Having said that, I'm not saying it comes without its risks. But I'm getting, I've, I've done my research. I've spoken to a few, you know, not outlets, but I've done my research and there will be a video if that gets announced coming soon. But for me, I want Luis Enrique. <laughs> I wish I had his number. Like, I just want to know, have they, have they spoke to him? I want to just ask that Andrea, have you spoke to him? Have you tried? I want to know because I want him. Get me him. Um, but look, going forward, we've just got to trust in the players now. Just believe in our players. Whoever we bring in, I know it's difficult, but don't base, don't be negative because of what fans have said. We have to give them a chance because whether we like them or not, they will be our coach. They will be it. We won't change that. We won't change that. They'll decided that. The board have decided it. They're our coach. That is their job. We have to back it because we need, they need us more than ever. The players need us. And if we bring that negative energy to the stadium or online, players are going to see it. I'm sure Ruth has seen some of the comments tonight. And I'm sure that's not going to help him at all. Whether we like it or not, we have to back whoever it is. That's just, we're not in a position now where we can be a bit like, oh, lenient up to it. We have to back them. You know, people say, no, we don't. I don't, I don't want him. It's not my opinion, whatever. But 
Come on. It's the same players. Forget the coaches. It's just that we have to back these players because we know the players are good. Right, we've said this. They're naive sometimes. They make individual mistakes. Sometimes it's a mentality issue. They're good players. They are very good players. So whoever the coaches, I told you who I want. But I'll try and find the good in anyone that comes. And I will give every single coach that comes in, I will give a chance. You have to. Because they are the coach of your club. And they've not played, a, they've not got a record of your club yet. Because they've just joined. I have to start off clean. That's just a fact. We have to do that. Um, I just want to make this video a bit of a calm compared to my previous one. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I know everything is based on the opinion of fans for Ajax. Go on Google and type his name in and type in Hoffenheim. And people say he got sacked from Hoffenheim. Look why. Look how good he was doing there. He came into Club Bruges. Look how good he did in the end. Look at that. Look who he's been under. Look who he's... Look. He could come in and it could fail drastically. Ajax was terrible. It was horrific. Don't get me wrong. But don't let that define a coach. I don't know. Give him a chance. Whoever it is. Forget him for a minute. He's not even our coach. Who cares? Whoever it is, give him a chance. They need a chance. All right, if he comes in and it's terrible, fine. We, are, we have a right to be angry. But when they come in, it's not their fault. They had a, you know, it's not their fault we're in this position, right? That's not their fault. So let's just see what happens. I feel like DMing Rads. He might reply and ask him if he's messaged Luis Enrique, honestly. I just I just realised he's not at Spain anymore. He's, he's, he's not got a club. Maybe he's taking a break, right? But surely. Maybe? I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. But what we need to do next for Leeds, what Leeds need to do next is hire the right guy. It's as simple as that. We need to win games. It's... We need to back the players, because we like the players, right? As fans, generally we like this squad. The squad is good. Let's back them. Regardless of who in charge, let's back, let's back the players. They deserve it. Because they go out every week and they, they have you seen the last two games? They put a shift in. Naive sometimes, but they put a shift in. And they try and they try. I'll give them that. But yeah, that's all I've got to say for today. I'll be back in a few days. If that happens, I'll be back. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate the support.